a cold start on the Yamaha Kodiak. Oh. Choke. Okay, what I did there is I shut the gas off and let it run dry, the carburetor dry again. Ugh. Anyways, that's about the only action the Kodiak sees in a while. Um, I gotta get it out and do some riding someplace anyway. Uh, guess I should check the oil. I know it's low on coolant. I gotta get coolant for it. So I'll check the oil and all that other crap on it and just make sure everything's okay. Okay guys, we're just going to check the oil in the Chevy. Uh, the 1500. It's actually due for an oil change right now. It's at about 4,000 kilometers. But... Uh, the oil change will have to wait till it gets a little warmer. She's a little dark, but she's up. It's at the normal range. Vortec. Um, it's got a new air filter in it. Well, a couple months ago, anyways. I got to get a K&N air filter for it, and it's got to go for a bath. Yeah, I gotta take the old truck for a bath and get all this salt off of it. Oh, she's dirty. Gotta get a new set of tires in the spring. Kodiak. That's what I call therapy. Get out of the house, go riding, just relax and not think of nothing. I'm sure Cubby ZX and Canadian Kodiak know what I'm talking about. <sighs> soon guys, soon. When the weather gets nice. When the weather gets nice and the snow's gone, I got a few projects. Uh, I'm going to find a trailer that I could haul this around with. You know, so I could actually go riding. Now the re there's a reason why... I have ramps, but there's a reason why I don't just load it up in my truck and go. Being blind in one eye, I have no peripheral vision. So it is really, really hard for me to drive this thing up and down a set of ramps. Um, and to be on, quite honest with you, I do not like those those loading ramps anyways. They're not safe. Um, generally, when I use them uh, for loading the golf cart here, we, you know, I don't drive it up them. I just push it up. Um, the ATV is a little bit heavy to be pushing, but I imagine what I could do is I could put a friggin' uh, screw eye in the box of my truck where I could hook my winch up to it and just fucking hit the switch and drag it up that way, but I want a trailer anyways, so that's what we're waiting for on that. Now I'm also in the spring, I'm going to try and knock some of the dents out of the truck. Um, do some body work on it. I still got to get those floor pants welded into it. I actually got to buy those floor pants first, obviously. And uh, I'm undecided how much work I'm going to do on the on the Chevy 1500. I might sell it. Uh, I might get a Jeep. I don't know yet. <laughs> get a Jeep Wrangler or TJ, whatever you call them. But yeah, and uh, if I get a Jeep, I'll make sure it's got a trailer hitch as well. Fuck what a mess in here. And I just swore. Here's my copper hoard. Oh, that's wires that need to be stripped. That's wires that are stripped. I have little pieces of copper in there. There's my brass. Um, I'd have more of this copper wire, but right now it's just a pain in the ass to strip it. Um, I cut it out and I'll save it. 
Um, sometimes I'll take it in like that. I can get a dollar a pound for it with the uh, plastic coating on it. But I might buy one of those wire strippers off of eBay and make my life a lot easier. Because right there, that's a buck a pound as it is. But if I strip it, it's three bucks a pound. Um, this is the power plug from a washing machine. You can see that nice thick copper in there. This stuff I usually take the time and strip it because it's nice thick copper and I'd rather get the three bucks a pound for it. <sighs> yep, as of right now, the Kodiak is just a freaking tease to me. <laughs> <coughs> I had some people ask me why when uh, I didn't take the Kodiak out in the last snowstorm and just rip it around the block here a couple times. Uh, there was actually a guy out here riding his fucking his ATV around. Um, the reason being is because I have this trailer parked in the way here. And there was just too much snow to move this trailer. The um, reason why I don't use this for hauling the ATV is, well I've used it once, the ATV just barely fits in it, but you can't ride it in. you got to lift it up and push it in and it's a real pain in the ass. So I'm going to get one of those open landscaper trailers with a tailgate on the back. Anyways guys, I think that's it. I'm not really doing much else today. Um, I might go wash the Chevy. The little Chevy. Heavy Chevy needs a bath too. Holy crap, it's dirty. But anyways, we'll see what the weather's going to be like. Hopefully it's going to be a nice weekend and get out and do something and we'll make a video this weekend. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.